Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I thought I would round up a few of my favourite things of the moment that I just really want to share with you. And I just thought like, ugh, there's just nothing better than a favourites video every now and again. We're kicking it back to old school YouTube because I just want to share all of these things with you and they're all in different categories. I've got some fashion, I've got some, what have I got? I've got makeup, I've got perfume, new perfume like that, I've got skincare, I've got body care, I've got hair care, I've got some hygiene bits. I just want to share them all with you and yeah, I am just going to get straight into this. Oh my god guys, I'm so excited. These literally just arrived today and I need to show you them. No, I didn't get my hands on some Sambas. I've been trying to get my hands on some Adidas Sambas for literally like four months at this point. They're sold out everywhere. However, I do love the Adidas Gazelle Bold and I think that they are going to be what the Samba was last summer, to be honest. So I picked myself up a pair in this gorgeous new colourway. Can we take them all? They launched these, I think like last week or the week before in this blue colour with the pink. I love them. I think they're gonna be so perfect for springtime, summertime. I love the platform. I love Adidas trainers. I always find them so comfortable. They just fit my feet really well and they're just a vibe. And considering they've got a platform, they're not too heavy. So I can tell these are gonna be really comfortable and I just thought I would show you these real quick. I'm gonna link these down below along with all of the other products as always. These Oh my god, so they literally just launched onto the Adidas website and they had like five pairs left in my size. So these are selling out very, very quickly, but I will link them down below. Hopefully they'll have your size if you're interested in them. Right, let's move on to some makeup bits that I've been loving at the moment. Firstly, I've got a couple of bits from NARS. Should we start with this? This is their orgasm, what's it called? The orgasm four plate blush quad. And it is just, oh. Firstly, it's got Orgasm and Orgasm X in here. Two of my favorite blushes of all time. I love them so much. It's also got this gorgeous deeper shade and then this highlight color. I love NARS highlights because they just look so natural. They're very glowy, but they're not like overly shiny and they just sort of meld into your skin really well gorgeous palette. I also have been using this foundation again. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation from NARS. I use the shade Fiji Light 5. That's my winter shade if you're interested. But I used this a couple of years ago when it launched and I've just got it back in my life. NARS sent me a package with their foundations in and I love a good NARS foundation. Their light reflecting foundation is my go-to foundation along with the YSL All Hours foundation. Love them, but I'm so happy to be using this again. I literally just use the tiniest amount over like well moisturized skin and it just gives you the most flawless finish. This is medium to buildable and it's incredible. I've also been loving the new Charlotte Tilbury highlighters. These are the Glow Glide, the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. I've been using two shades. So I've been using this shade which is Sunset Glow as a glowy bronzer. I love these because again, they give you the most natural finish. They're not shimmery, they have no sort of reflective bit in. It just gives you the most seamless, flawless glow. You just look so healthy. I'm wearing this today and I just love how it makes my skin look, especially in real life. Like on camera, it doesn't come across as much. In real life, my skin just looks so dewy when I use these. It's so good. I love this shade for a bronzy color if you've got pale skin. For a highlight shade, I've been using Champagne Glow, which again, I've got on today and I just love it. I love Charlotte Tilbury products. You guys know this. A lot of the products I use are Charlotte Tilbury. They're incredible, what can I say? And she does a good glow product, we can say that. The product from Laura Mercier that I need to mention quickly because I've been using it so much, it's the Tinted Moisturizer Blush. This is in the shade Corsica. I use this as a blush 
slash bronzer on days when I'm not wearing much makeup. If I'm just wearing a little bit of concealer, I will put a little bit of this on and it is so quick and easy. It makes my face look alive. It just brings life to my face. It's the most gorgeous sort of peachy bronzy shade. It's beaut. Let's move on to some perfumes. I've got a couple of new fragrances in my collection that I am so obsessed with. The first one being Room 1015 Sonic Flower. This is Room 1015's newest scent. Oh my word, guys. <gasps> This is the most beautiful iris fragrance. If you enjoy iris fragrances, you need to check this out. It's got this sort of fruitiness to it. I don't know where it's coming from because there are no fruity notes listed. It's got a sweetness to it. You really get the powdery aspect of the iris and then it's got skin musk and cashmere woods and a bit of ambroxan in the base. It is so Stunning. And this reminds me of Glossier U, but this is a million times better than Glossier U. It's just a more fully rounded fragrance and it just smells more refined. There's more to it. It is just the most beautiful skin scent though. It makes me feel so pretty and feminine when I wear it. It's perfect for day to day. It's very sort of like put together, clean. It's beautiful, absolutely beaut, love it. If you're a fan of Glossier U, check this out because in my opinion, it is better. Next up, I've been loving the newest launch from Kaali, Yum Pistachio 33. This is not what I expected because I wasn't sure what to expect when I heard pistachio because I'm not a massive fan of nutty fragrances. I like a little bit of a nutty note, but I don't like fragrances that focus in too much on one note. This is really nice though. You really get that ice creamy feel. It smells like pistachio ice cream. It has this sort of lovely creamy whipped sort of feel. It's sweet. It's got cotton candy as a note and marshmallow as well and whipped cream. You really get that. It's so nice and it's really sort of easy to wear as well. It's quite light. I've been loving layering this. It layers so nicely with lots of different fragrances. It just adds this sort of sweet touch. I will say it's not the most complex scent from Kaali, but it's a lovely addition to the collection. And of course, I'm gonna include my Commodity Travel Trio. This is my curated set from Commodity, if you haven't heard me speaking about this already, it contains my three top scents from the brand, Milk Personal, Velvet Expressive and Gold in the Bold scent space and I just think it's amazing. Of course I think it's amazing, I created it. I love these three scents so much so if you haven't checked out my travel trio, definitely check it out, I'll link it down below. And you can use my commodity code on this so you can get 10% off. Um, I'll link my code down below as well. Okay, let's move on to some skincare. I'm gonna start off with a couple of serums. The first one being the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Serum. I am a fan of a salicylic serum. I'm prone to spots, so they just help to keep my skin clear, nice and sort of lightly exfoliated as well. I just love products like this. This is amazing. I was very pleasantly surprised with this. I had been sent it in PR a while ago and it had just been sitting there, so I was out of my old one. I tried this. I absolutely love it. I will say I used this on my neck and my chest as well and it did kind of irritate the skin on my chest. I do have very sensitive skin. I'm prone to eczema and dermatitis. It's just not the one. Um, but this on your face, which is what it is meant for, is amazing. It's such a great product. Next, guys, this serum that I'm about to show you will change your skincare game. Truly, it transformed my face from like the first week I used it and it is the BioEffect EGF Serum. I think, okay, I looked this up ages ago when I first started using it. I should probably have researched it before filming this, but I think it um, helps your skin to produce collagen. It's incredible, whatever it is. This is liquid youth. You put this on your face, your skin feels so soft, so smooth. It is like a baby's bum and I am not being dramatic. Truly my skin has never felt so soft, so hydrated and just bouncy and plush. This is magic in a bottle. It is 
incredible and you only need the tiniest bit I will say this is an expensive serum I was sent this as well like full transparency but I would pay my own money for this because it is worth every single penny and I always say this but if there's one thing that you are going to spend your money on truly make it your skincare as much as I love spending money on makeup and perfume and all the rest of it skincare is the main thing for me because when my skin looks good I feel good and your makeup just goes on better you just look better when your skin looks healthy and radiant obviously and this product is truly incredible it is youth in a bottle truly they've actually just launched a new serum which i think is a stronger version of that which i'd be really interested in trying i've also tried their toner i had like a little travel size of it amazing would highly recommend checking them out as a brand next up i need to mention this face moisturizer it is the irene forte um lavender face cream i've been using this honestly for about six months and I don't know how much I've got left, obviously, but I use this every single day and she's still going. This is the nicest face moisturiser I've ever used, truly. It doesn't contain any SPF or anything like that, so I do put SPF over the top of it, but it is just lovely, natural ingredients. It is so soothing. Like I said, I've got sensitive skin and this just really soothes my skin but also my skin can be prone to being a little bit oily so this helps to balance it it's nice and light but it hydrates my skin really well and my skin just feels like silk when I use it I truly love this product it is such a great one and I haven't heard many people speaking about this but it's amazing with spring and summer coming up warmer weather as well if you suffer with like a bit of oiliness in large pores anything like that I would recommend trying this moisturizer out it is incredible okay I've got two body products which I'm gonna whiz through quickly because I've spoken about them like a million times but I just need to mention them again because like I said my skin's been sensitive recently I've had a little bit of dermatitis and I've stopped using scented body creams for the moment so not that they are a problem for me it's just I've got like a rash on my boob which I'm trying to just clear up you know I've got some cream for it it's fine but these moisturizers have just been very very helpful for me firstly the Biosense 100% squalane oil this is just a lovely natural oil like it's got no scent it's just it does what it says on the tin it hydrates your skin really well it sinks in straight away you can use it on your body your face your hair and it's just such a great product it really genuinely moisturizes your skin amazingly and also the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty is amazing like <laughs> i've spoken about this so many times i love it so much um it's just a really good hydrating cream that if you've got sensitive skin absolutely amazing but if you haven't also an amazing body moisturizer and if you like an oil this is a great one okay so you know i love sharing my hygiene products i've got a toothpaste which i've been loving it was literally in um like a goodie bag so when you go to events sometimes they'll give you a goodie bag or whatever at the end this was in my goodie bag and i just got it out and started using it the other week and i really like it it's the paragensil what's this the gum protection toothpaste what I love about this is the taste of it I'm very particular about the taste of my toothpaste obviously most toothpaste tastes minty but I'm particular about the type of minty taste I know that's ridiculous but this tastes really nice and it also makes my teeth feel so clean I absolutely love this toothpaste so I just thought I would include it let's move on to some hair care so my mum bought a shampoo and conditioner that she'd seen all over the internet I'd seen it too I was very interested in trying it but I knew that she'd bought it so I asked her what she thought of it she said she wasn't getting on with it very well do I want to try it so I was like yes I want to try it I tried it and I loved it. So it is the shampoo. Have you seen these all over the internet as well? It looks like shampoo, but it's pronounced shampoo. This is the Pitta volumizing shampoo and conditioner formulated for fine or thinning hair that yearns for fullness and body. 
if that ain't my hair. This is like based on Ayurvedic traditions, which is really nice. And I just heard really good things about this. My mum didn't love this because she said that it didn't lather as much as she would like and she thought it had a bit of a funny smell. Um, I didn't expect it to lather a lot because obviously it doesn't contain any cheap foaming agents or anything like that. Very natural ingredients which I was interested in. For me this lathers the perfect amount and I don't like shampoos that just don't lather, that don't make your hair feel clean. I do like a bit of lather. I found this to be fine, it doesn't lather loads but it's enough. I personally love the smell of this. It has this sort of herbal spa-like smell and whenever I use these I feel like I'm in a spa and I honestly love it. It's a really zen experience for me. Plus I do think that this makes my hair feel thicker. Obviously you can't tell today because my hair needs a wash and it's back but it does feel thicker and my hair feels really glossy as well. I just feel like it's a really luxurious experience when I use these. Like I said the smell of the product makes me feel like I'm in a spa. My hair feels lovely and clean and soft and shiny and full when I use these. I would personally recommend them, love them. So as you guys know, like three months ago, I got my layers cut into my hair. So I've been styling my hair differently. I've been using rollers, I've been blow drying it. It's been a whole thing, but I've been wanting body in my hair and I've been trying out a load of different products that are like volumizing. So the ones that are my favorite are the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. This is like a foam, which I use when my hair is wet. I use it in conjunction with the next product that I'm gonna show you. But you can also use this when your hair's dry, just for a bit of a refresh. I love it. You can put it all like through the length of your hair as well. It really does add so much body without in any way weighing your hair down. I love this product. And I also use the Amika Plus Size Perfect Body Mousse. If you want full on glam, voluminous hair, use this. It's great for like nights out or if you just want to have a glam moment. I love this so much. I love it because it volumizes my hair, but again, it doesn't weigh it down. My hair is fine, so it can get weighed down pretty easily by products, and this doesn't do that. It also doesn't go crunchy at all. It's just a really, really great mousse. I use this on the roots, and I use this, like, throughout the rest of my hair. It's just a nice little combo. And another product from Amika that I've been loving is their new Water Sign Hydrating Hair Oil. I always use a hair oil, but this is water-based and it's just amazing because again, it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. So if again, you're like me and your hair gets weighed down easily, but you want a hydrating hair oil, I would definitely recommend trying this. It helps me control my frizz and it just keeps my hair nice and soft. I love it. Guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favourite products are at the moment, your favourite beauty, favourite makeup, favourite perfumes. What do I need to check out that I haven't checked out yet? And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up if you did, and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!